What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that allows you to animate bugs and birds and other things like that as particles inside of Blender. It makes it really easy to add these to your scenes. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So SpiderFi is an add-on that basically automates the creation process of your nature and Boyd's systems. And a Boyd system is basically a system that um, it creates things like birds and bugs as particles, and then you can choose how they behave. So you can make them like follow different things around and other things like that. So this add-on is going to really simplify that process. I will link to that in the notes down below. Um, and what it's gonna have, it's gonna have these detailed 3D bird and insect assets as well so they're really realistic and they look really good when you render them so not only are you you know adding these in here really quickly but you've also got these um, these systems that are designed to look really realistic and so let's go ahead and let's jump over into blender and take a look at how it works all right and so to enable spiderfy you just want to make sure that you up to edit preferences and then you just want to make sure that you've enabled the append spiderfy bug void systems add-on so you install this and then you enable it and so once you install this and enable it you're going to get a little uh, tab right here for spiderfy and so what we want to do now is let's start by adding a particle system to our model so the way that we want to do that is we want to click on the button for spiderfy notice how there's options in here both for things that fly like locusts and butterflies and seagulls, so lots of different things like that, as well as things that crawl. Um, and you're gonna be able to add like black widows, uh, larger spiders, beetles, or centipedes. And um, this may depend on which uh, version of this you have because they are consistently adding. So they have been adding additional models to these scenes. But for what we wanna do, let's add a beetles system to our scene. And so what we wanna do is you wanna make sure that you name that so I'm just going to name this bugs. And so the reason for that is because if you add another system later and you don't add a name in here, you're going to get an error. But what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to add the system over here. So I'm just going to do a shift right click to place my 3D cursor. I want to make sure that I've checked the box for add goal um, because add goal is going to give the bugs something they can follow. And then we can just click on the button for add bug system. And so if we look at this, notice what this is gonna do is this is gonna give us an object right here that's gonna emit these bugs as particles. So if I was to move this up a little bit, you can kind of take a look at what it's doing. And if we were to click the play button, notice what this is gonna do is this is gonna drop these bugs into our scene. And it's gonna emit up to 200 of them, just like uh, what's shown right here. But it's just gonna keep emitting those until you basically run out of frames in your scene. So. Um, that's great, but it's not really super interesting at the moment, right? So let's do a couple different things. So the first thing we want to do is notice how when we created this with a goal, and I should probably reset this right here, this comes with an empty that's going to act as the goal for the particle system. So basically what that means is that means that the, um, that the bugs are going to follow this goal right here. So if I click on this, for example, and it's not gonna be very strong at first. We're gonna go in and adjust a change, uh, or we're gonna make a change. Because right now, notice how they're not really following the goal at all. And so what we wanna do is we wanna click on this, and you can actually adjust the particle properties of the system by clicking on this button right here. So what that does is that allows us, notice how this is just setting this up inside of Blender, is what it's doing. And you can come in here and you can make adjustments to that. But if we go down into the physics settings, um, notice how our physics type is set to Boyd's, but there's an option here for Boyd Brain. And so Boyd Brain is going to allow us to set what's most important to these objects. Well, right now, their goal is to separate, right? That's the most important thing. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna move this up so that the goal is the most important thing, right? And so if we adjust this so that the goal is the most important thing, and then we reset this, well now what's gonna happen is they're gonna come out and they're gonna come directly towards the goal that we set inside of our scene. So you can use this to set where they go once they drop out. So now let's take a look at some other things you can do with this. So first thing, let's go ahead and let's reset this, but one thing you can do is you can make the emitter bigger. So if I was to scale this along the X axis, so just S, and then I tap the X key to scale along the X axis. And then if we were to do this, notice how these are all gonna drop out from a wider range. 
than they were in here before. So you can adjust that emitter to adjust like where those bugs are coming from. So now let's say that we wanted these bugs to follow this empty, right? So what we could do is we could click in here and inside of our emission settings, we're gonna scroll down. And first off, if you've baked any of these, you wanna make sure that you delete the bake right there. So there's a button in here to bake, which is just gonna pre-bake the movement. You can click in here to delete the bake. But if you scroll down and select the option for predict target movement, so if you check this box right here, and then let's go ahead and let's reset this animation. But now if we were to look at this from a top down view and select this and move it around, notice how these bugs are going to follow this empty right here. And so one thing to note about this is when you're adjusting your goal in here, you can adjust the rule fuzziness. And so if you adjust the rule fuzziness, that's just gonna make this a little bit stronger. So you can see how as they chase this around, if you turn the rule fuzziness down, then the pull towards this empty is going to get stronger. So just note that you may need to play around with some of these settings, but it is really cool the way that you can set this up where these like chase the, uh, where they chase the target goal or something like that. And so let's say we wanted to create another scene, but this one has birds, right? So let's say that we wanted to add like a flock of seagulls. So what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this off to the side over here like this, but we're just gonna call this one birds. Make sure that you've set a goal and we're gonna add the system right here. It says add bug system, but in this case, it would really be a bird system. But what we wanna do is we just wanna click on that right here. Well, notice what that does when you create this is this is gonna generate a flock of seagulls that's gonna fly around. So completely different system. And so notice how you're gonna be able to do the same thing. This one's already kind of preset where these follow the empty. So notice as I move the empty, the flock of seagulls group is going to move around. So what you could do is you could animate the flock of seagulls like flying here. You could keyframe the location of these birds um, if you wanted to, to simulate um, something like birds chasing after something, um, like a person or something like that. So you can see how adding these is really easy. If we were to pause this and look at the detail on these seagulls, these are really detailed birds that actually render out really nice. There's actually some cool things about compositing on the Light Architect um, on the Light Architect YouTube channel. So they've got a number of different add-ons in here, but they've got some really cool stuff with like uh, camera tracking and other things like that. So they can actually show you um, how you can animate these with like a, you can animate like birds with a background and other things like that. So I do recommend you go subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a lot of useful information here. And then one other thing that I didn't hit on before is notice with this particle system right here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reset this. So notice with these particle system, these bugs are all pretty big, right? If we look at these, they're fairly large. Well, what you can do is you can adjust the size as well as the way that they behave over here in the particle settings. So for the particle settings, so if we were to go down into our render settings, you can adjust the scale of these bugs in your scene, as well as like the randomness. So if you wanted some really big ones and some really small ones, you could use this in order to adjust that. So if you did want these beetles to be a little bit smaller instead of like the kind of giant size that they were a minute ago, you can adjust that over here. Then you can also adjust the way that they move. So for example, you can adjust how fast they go or how much they accelerate. So for example, if you wanted them to be a little bit slower, what you could do is you could just adjust their land speed to something like three, um, just like this. So um, then they're gonna move a little bit slower when they come in. So notice how they are still moving, but they're not moving as quickly as they were before. So you get a lot of control over these objects over here as well. All right, so that's from it in this video. We can do more with this add-on. Just leave a comment down below and let me know if you're interested. If you're interested in this add-on, I will link to it on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.